So now we're going to talk about combinations. So if we want to select our items from a group of n items, and we don't care what order they're in, we're just picking a group of them, then they can be found by dividing n factorial by r factorial n minus r factorial. And on the calculator, you'll choose math, you'll go over to PRB, and then it's number three. So if we want to do 5C5, we're going to put in 5, then do math, go over to PRB and choose number 3, and then put our 5 for our R. And we see that that's 1. So if you have 5 objects and you want to make a group of 5 of them, there's only one way to do that. You'd have to take all 5. So if we have 4C3, we'll have 4. Then go to math, probability, choose NCR, 3. We'll see that this is 4. And if we have 22C5, our N is 22, our C is 5. We'll do 22 C5. So we see that that's 26,334. So number four here says, we have decided to select a committee of three members from the statistics class. How many different combinations of three students can you make from this class? Now, to answer this problem, we'd need to know how many students are in the class. And since this is done just over a video and we're not sitting in a classroom full of people, let's assume that there are 24 people in our class. That N is 24. So we would do 24 C3. So we'd see that there are 2,024 ways to pick three students from a group of 24 students. So number five says there are seven musicians sitting at a table. Three of them choose, or sorry, three of them play saxophone. If you randomly choose three of the seven musicians, how many ways can you choose three musicians? So here we're just picking a group of three of them. So we'd have seven C three. So there are 35 ways that you can choose a group of three from seven people. Well, what makes this a combination problem? Well, the order that you choose these people doesn't matter. You're just making a group. So the last part says, what is the probability that the three that you choose are the ones who play the saxophone? So there was only one group of three of them that played the saxophone, so we'd have one over the total number of ways to choose the group, which was 35. Okay, so now we're going to go into a bunch of practice problems. These might use permutations or combinations. So number one says a farmer has 10 trees, each a different species. How many ways can these trees be planted in a row? So we want to know the order that we can plant these trees or the way that we can arrange all 10 trees. So remember we had a rule that said if you were doing arranging n things, it was n factorial. So we can take 10 factorial here. So here's the number of ways. So 3,628,800 ways that you could arrange those 10 trees. So number two says a farmer has 10 trees, five maples, three oaks, and two buckeyes. How many ways can these trees be planted in a row based on maple versus oak versus buckeye? So this is our repeats problem. So remember we take the total factorial up top, so 10 factorial up top, and then do the repeats, we divide by that factorial. So since there are five maples repeating, we'll have five factorial, three oaks repeating, and two buckeyes repeating. So we're going to do 10 
factorial divided by, and then we need to put the whole denominator in parentheses. So five factorial three factorial two factorial. So if we're talking about those repeats, there's 2,520 ways to arrange them. So number three says seven people were in a race. How many ways can we present the awards for first, second, and third place? So we need to decide if this is a combination or a permutation. Now, since we're ordering them, ranking them first, second, and third, this is a permutation. Anytime you're ranking or giving specific names to things, president, vice president, whatever, it's going to be a permutation. So since there were seven people, put 7P, and then we're ranking three places. So 7P3. So there are 210 ways that you could present first, second, and third place. Number four says find the probability of selecting the five winning numbers from the numbers from 1 to 27. So since it doesn't tell us that order matters, we're going to assume that you're just picking the group, the combination of the five numbers. So this there are a total of 27 numbers, C5. So 80,730. Number five says, when testing for current in a cable with seven color-coded wires, the wires needed to be checked in pairs. How many different tests are required to ch check every possible pairing of two wires? So we're just picking groups of two wires. It doesn't matter which wire you pick first. So since there are seven wires total and we're picking groups of two, we're going to do 7C. Two. So there are 21 different ways to choose those pairs of wires. Okay, so one last problem. So it says there are 12 members on a board of directors for a large company. Part A says if they must choose a chairperson and secretary, how many different slates are possible? So here you're putting specific jobs to them. You're ordering them chairperson and secretary. So this is going to be a permutation. So since there are 12 board members, it'll be 12P and we're picking two positions, 12P2. So 132. So B says, if they must form an ethics subcommittee of four members, how many different subcommittees are possible? Now we're talking about a committee, we're just talking about a group of people, the order that they're on there doesn't matter. So anytime we just see a committee, that's gonna be a combination. And we're choosing four members, so it'll be 12C4. So that will be 495.